Let's go fishing! We're on! Here we go, here we go! Come on, baby! Got a streamer! Woo! Let's go, baby! Woo! On the meat! Whoa! Bluefin season in Gloucester is back. Wow! Pay you five dollars a pound. Say, man, it is what it is. Five bucks a pound. The fleet is ready to shake off last year's woes. It's six dollars. This is unbelievable. We gotta make up for that lost season. And cash in on a brighter future. Seventeen dollars. Yes. Twenty-two dollars a pound. <gasps> but the race to catch is driving the competition. We're in it to win it. Moonshine. <laughs> and the pressure. You disrespect me. Sky high. I disrespect you. as the captains battle to gain lost ground. Come on, we got no controls. Every decision brings dollars. 111 inches. Jumbo. Big boy. Or disaster. Yes! yes! So they better play it smart. Got him on! Got him on, we got him on. Don't mess with us. Or pay the price. Stay up. Back it off, back it off. Come on, come on! Not good. It's time to bounce back from the brink, Gloucester style. Got him. This is... Let's go! Tuna time, baby. Oh. Wicked Tuna. We're bouncing back this year with blue gold. Stand by for impact. First trip of the season. Last year was a tough year. We had a bunch of fish, and it was literally the worst year to have a bunch of fish. I'm Dave Marciano. I'm the owner and captain of the fishing vessel Hard Merchandise. My two mates this season are my son, Joe, and my nephew, Jay. Now, last year, we had very poor market conditions, and that translated into the buyers barely being able to move the fish that we were catching. So obviously, they couldn't pay a lot for it. This year, we got high hopes. The restaurants are open. People are hungry to get some tuna, and that's going to translate into big dollars for us. So we really want to have another big season. Go big or go home. This first trip, I'm going to head down to the back side of the Cape, right off of Chatham. The best reports I've gotten have come from down there. So right now, for me, the name of the game is just to get out there and get in a groove. My name is TJ Ott, and I'm the captain of the Hot Tuna. My brother Michael and my father Big Tim are fishing with me this season, as well as my first mate Jarrett, and I've got Reba, Ripple, and Tosh on board as well. Last season, we definitely didn't do as well as I would have liked, but with the circumstances and the restricted fishing days and the really weak market, we still made ends meet. So the most important thing is right now, we get out there and we give it hell. We get in that bluefin groove. Lines go in the water at midnight, first day of the season. I want the first fish. TJ got it last year. I got it the year before. I want it. We're really banged up after last season. You know, the fish prices were terrible. This season, I'm fishing with my sister, and she's proven to be one heck of a deckhand. I'm really hoping that this season, we're going to come out firing, because we've got a lot of bills to make up for. All right, man, we're going to the spot up in Maine. Alrighty. That's where I've had my greatest success, blue finning. I'm going to the meet, because we're winning. It's like a rave party back here. So we're gonna crush it this year. Absolutely crush it. So we're on our way to Chatham here and made a little pit stop on the way to try to get some baits. My name is Bob Cook. I'm the captain of the fishing vessel Fat Tuna. I'm fishing with Johnny Ice Custler again and Manny Pereira. We just gave Tim the word over there, TJ and his dad right behind us here, so hopefully they fill up too. We're gonna run down there together with these Max. The key to catching quality bluefin is having quality bait. Stellwagen Bank is filled with mackerel, one of bluefin tuna's favorite foods. So we're filling our bait tanks now, and then we're gonna continue down to Chatham. He's a critical for what we're going after. Our strategy is to go wherever the most meat is. Wherever that biggest body of fish is, we have to go and fish it day in and day out. The pressure is on to catch every single day. Ooh, that's a nice herring. It's a seven day a week fishery right now. They're not talking about closing. There's no buyer shutdowns, nothing like that, which means the markets are very, very good. And we need to take advantage of that. 
Yeah, man, we're off. All right, let me go finish up back here. I'll get back to you. All right. But uh, it's a risky move going to Chatham. It's 90 miles. You burn a ton of fuel, but the fish are there. I can't wait to bend a rod. All I know is I got a lot of bait here. Everybody struggled last year, including us. You know, hopefully we can recover from that. I'm Captain Dave Carrero. I am the owner and operator of the fishing vessel, Tuna.com. My crew is going to be the same as it has been every year. Sandra and Jordy have both been on the dot-com over a decade now. You know what it means when there's a lot of bait? It means there's some tunas. It's our first day back in the game. We don't know where the bait is, we don't know where the whales are, and we sure to hell don't know where the fish are. So we're going to stay close, and we're going to fish middle bank on Stillwag. There's no sense in traveling far just yet. Falls right on us. Yeah, literally. All right, right here. Bombs away? Bombs away, yeah. Bombs away! This year, I'm starting out with just Doug Hittinger and myself. You gotta go slow. I'm going slow. All right. Even though we were the top boat last year, it was still very, very hard to make a living. So this year, my old first mate, Rick, chose to stick with a steady job. With just the two of us now, I'm hoping to make more of a profit. God knows I need it. It's gonna be a bonanza. What time is it? Quarter of midnight. Be nice to get the first fish of the season, you know? Absolutely. That's the goal. Bait is pretty much everything. You have no bait, you have empty hooks. But not only having bait is important, but having a variety of bait. That is like a three-pound mackerel. Herring, mackerel, whiting. Every place fishes a little bit differently. Woo, this place is loaded with bait. Nine minutes to go. Oh, it's a long nine minutes. Berm, it's almost midnight. Let's put some lines out. Here in the Gulf of Maine, when the fish come in here, they eat everything. And depending on what you feel the tunas are feeding on, all right, down for some herring, Berm. That's the type of bait you'd be trying to fish. We want to make sure we got good stuff for go time. We decided to start out here on Jeffrey's Ledge. Bait is in a great abundance. Having a variety of baits is always a good thing. Plus, I like the fact that there's no other boats around. We're going to do this old school. So as a fisherman, you got to adapt, adjust, to execute, and you got to be versatile. We try and make the best choices, where to go, when to go, what baits to use, all the time. And if we can get the first fish of the season on the deck ahead of all the other boats, that's making a statement. First bait in the water. Hopefully, you get them. All right, first line of season is going out. Mackerel on the menu today. See ya. Oh, we got to get the first fish of the season here. Yes, sir. There he goes. Woo. First shot out. Let me know when it goes off. Go to bed. We'll see the back now. All right, here we go. Let's go fishing. Here we go, baby. See ya. Merm. Yep. We need to get up. OK. And we're going to possibly reposition the anchor. OK. I want everyone to just love life, love life. Oh my god, it's such a nice mark on the screen. He doesn't need our break. Right as I took my contact out. Eat it. Oh, come on, we're gonna go off, dude. Something's gonna happen. Run, 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 give me the motor. Good. Under the boat, straight off the bat. First minute of the hookup is the most important. You gotta get the boat started. You gotta get yourself off the anchor. Get me off the anchor, Merv. Get me off the anchor. You gotta clear your lines. You gotta make sure your fish isn't running up into someone else's anchor. Swimming around. He's swimming, he's swimming, he's swimming, he's swimming. Merv, can you come here? Merv, please get me off the anchor, Merv. Usually I have to wake up Merv. Merv. Yep, I'm here. Where are you, Merv? I'm right here. All right, wait. Please get me off the anchor. Yep, I'm going. I'm going. Get me off the anchor. I'm going. Anchor, anchor, please. OK. Throw the anchor, please. You got to run around and make sure it's not getting tangled. Someone has to stay on top of the rod. It's not good. We're on, dude. Let's go on that rod. Where's this slow rope? Come here. Merm, I need you here. 
It's all because I took my contacts out. Okay, we'll put the glasses on. Then I have to wait for Merm to put in her contacts. Get back there, please, Merm. That first minute is critical in whether or not we're going to land the fish or lose the fish. What are you doing? My glove. I don't what are care you about doing? Just get on the rod and keep it tight. I have my master captain's license, and I know the pinwheel almost as well as Tyler does. Merm, when I say I got to get off the anchor, and I'm yelling at you. I was up there. No, you weren't, Merm. We're going to lose this fish. But when I'm on the pinwheel, Tyler's the captain, and I'm the first mate, and I have to respect that. You see that? Back the drag off. Back the drag off. She's not all the way. No, no, no. That's too much, Merm. I'm going to freak out. Tyler. It's in the anchor. Give me the long gap. Right off the bat, this is like wicked bad. We could lose this fish at any point in time. Whenever our fishing line rubs against the anchor, bad can happen. Long gap. Gap this. Pull in your side. First fish of the season, first bite of the year. We got the fish already in the anchor. This is not what we want at all. This is not a good situation for us. All right, I don't know what the f to do. I'm just trying to get it untangled. It's all tangled around the anchor. Get a flashlight, turn it on right there. Ugh. Help me. I think if we cut the anchor, we'll catch the fish. Knife, give me knife. Knife, knife. Hurry, man, we're gonna lose him. Stay right here, next to me. Stuck in there. Not. Knife, knife, knife. Right, right here, right here. Lose it, gonna lose it. Okay. Anchor's gone. Just lost anchor. It's got the fish on, though. All right, let's go. Let's go get him, man. Good job, man. Good job. Woo! Can you move the rod? Yeah. Got the first bite of the season. Got to tie in the anchor. Still fighting the fish. Lost the $500 anchor. Now we got a chance to get the fish. Wine, wine, wine. Got yeah. it, girl, man. Up the trap. I see it. Oh, he's in it. Holy you think we can have some more obstacles today? Give me a gaff. Where's that knife? Knife right here. Unbelievable, two of the gods. You really want to lay it to us, huh? You got to gaff this trap. Dude, this is not, we're going to lose this one. Gaff that thing. It's ghost gear. I got it. I got it. I got it. Ghost gear is abandoned fishing gear, which can be old nets, old long lines. And it's dangerous, because when your fish gets entangled in it, you know, it can cost you your fish. Thanks to Tuna Gods, it didn't break our line. What a fish fight. Let's go, man. Let's go. Whew. I wasn't ready for it. It's not like the middle of the season and we're dialed in. I'm trying to knock the rust off. Please don't be a heartbreaker to start up the season. We've been here too many times. we got to get this one, man. Keep reeling. Come on, turn the handle. Whoa. Keep reeling him, man. Keep reeling him. It's coming up. Reel him in, Merm. Right here. Are you like me now? Woo! I'm real nice. Give me a target. Get the tail gap. Woo! Big tuna. Pinwheel, baby. Woo! Deep boys. We got him. First fish of this season. Way to go, number one. Talk about some adversity. But oh, man, do we have a big fish. We have a big, big tuna. Check it out. Spurge on the old moonshine is up here, too. We got him. I'm so happy to have the first one of the season. This is, this is his glory to get the fish before we did, you know? Yep. We get to go show father tuna what a tuna looks like. You know, Spurgey and I have been fishing around each other for a long time, and he always said, hey, kid, you might want to be the best tuna fisherman ever, but you always got to remember one thing. As long as I'm around, you'll always be number two. And Spurgey's been doing that to me for years, so it's finally kind of cool to be able to be like, hey, man, I got one before you. Yo, what up? Hey! hey. What the f Hey, I just wanted to remind you what they look like. Oh. It's been a while. Give it a good go this year. You got two helpers. Keep up with you. I got a 110-pound sister over here. Keep up with you. You're the master. You invented it all. And you're showing me up here. You'll get one in about an hour. All right, we're out of here. We're going home. Catch him up. <laughs>
we get the big one. Bring them on! Give me the tape measure. What you got? All day 98. Yes! Woo! That's a hell of a way to start the season. We got a 98 inch to start the season. That's going to be a hell of a page. Eh? This is going to set the market. I'm so stoked. Me and my sister can help fish the fleet. Definitely stings to be next to the person who caught the first fish, but is what it is, just means that we're in a good spot. We know the fish are here, so we can play the waiting game now, and hopefully we'll be tight soon. I'm fishing this year with my mate from last year, Ryan Fletcher, and also we have a new mate coming up from Florida, TJ Vons. Oh, beautiful. I'm in Massachusetts tuna fishing. I've been sport fishing my whole life, so I know my way around the fishing boat. But I've always wanted to learn the most challenging and difficult fishery in the ocean, bluefin tuna fishing. And who better to learn from than Father Tuna himself? Having a second mate will affect my bottom line, but we're hoping to make up for that by getting more fish across the deck, even if we're still limited to one fish a day. Hey, looking good. Let's try to get some shut-eye, and hopefully we'll wake up with a tuna on. I'm just keeping a line off the boat, best I can. Ooh. I don't want oh, it's to try to spin it into the boat, Cap. I see him. Oh. Hey, don't let that line run against the boat. I'm just keeping a line off the boat, best I can. Ooh. I don't want, oh, it's just trying to spin it into the boat, Cap. I see him. Hey, don't let that line run against the boat. Let him go. Oh. No, let, let him go. go. Let it back off a little bit. Back it off? Uh. <laughs> wow, this is way different than fighting a big swordfish back home. We're, all, we're fighting a nice fish here. He just made a scream and run. Now we're just trying to chase him down a little bit, get, get some line back. TJ, you know, he's new to the fishery. He doesn't know everything, so we like that. We like to teach him the right way to do things, and it, it's easier on me, believe it. All right, let uh, Ryan take the rod back here. We're going to put it in the back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can I go on this one? Whoop. What do you want me to grab? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. First fish of the year. Yeah. We gotta make it good. There we go. Beautiful. Crazy fish. So our ticket home here. We gotta get this one. It's coming now. Not like the black fins. Big boy fish. Yeah. yeah. Put on your big pants and go fishing. <laughs> Here's a swivel. Swivel. The daily limit this season is still one fish. If you catch a bluefin, you have to get it in by midnight. Come on, babe. Oh. I got a shot of one to take it. You might take a shot. That's a big one. Is there any? Nice shot. Tail gaff, tail rope. Up here. Get him down. Get the tail rope. That rope coming? Woohoo! All right. We got our first fish of the season. Ah, Freaking nice beauty. Show. All right, work, boys. Teamwork nice makes the dream work. Nice Way to go. Good Pretty job, work. Brian. Good job. Nice Beautiful job. Beautiful fish. Everybody did great. We got a nice butter ball. Oh, that's, that's the biggest thing I've ever thrown a dart at. So it's. Oh, you stuck him. So that was good. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. Ready when you are. One, two, three. 
TJ did a great job. It's great having twice the manpower to catch these giant bluefin. Yeah, very nice fish. Let's see how big he is. I think with enough time and patience, I'll be able to mold them into a great bluefin tuna fisherman. That's a hundo, bro. Hundred? Yeah, hundred. They don't call me father tuna for nothing. Let me start moving. We're worth the ride, right? Yeah. Tired, man, tired. Long trip. First blood for pinwheel. You know, usually the fish we catch in the beginning of the year are lean. I think I got a good quality fish. Well, let's get her off, see what it looks like, and then get you turned around. Sounds good, brother. Oh, you got a slaw up there. This huge of a bluefin on the first day of the season is such a great omen. Not only for the pinwheel, but for the entire fleet. Now, hopefully, this giant bluefin has the bright red color and fat that the buyer is looking for to give us top dollar. What are we looking for a dressed weight? 399 pounds dressed, Tyler. Wow, man, that's awesome. Almost a 400 dress to start out the season. What's better than that? Come on up, let's see how it grades out. Whew. The rest of the fleet's gonna be shaking. Well, not a bad fish here to kick off the season. The meat color's gorgeous. So if I can get a good core sample here, you guys are in business. Rock on, moment of truth, bring it on. Look at that. That is a nice one, nice and translucent. Very beautiful core. Very nice clarity, nice brightness, matches the tail. I'm very happy with this fish. What's a beautiful specimen like this worth? Love the color. It's got enough fat. $17 a pound. Yes! Woo! That'll go. Woo! Thanks, Dennis. That's what we like way to see. Way to start off the season. That is the way Thank to go. You, right Good there. job, Merm. Big. Thanks for the fish, guys. Lighter. See you tomorrow. 399 pounds dressed, a great price per pound. That's epic. After the year we had last year, we're picking up in full stride. I mean, we got the top spot right now, and that's exactly where we want to be. We just got to keep the momentum going all season. Tuna gods love us, man. It's a rain gear type of day, I think. Soaked through to my underwear. We're going to get them. Keep the faith, my friend. Keep the faith. This season, I just want to get through the season. Of course, we all want to make a ton of money. I, it's just this new boat. I know it's a lot of boat. There's a lot to it. It's overwhelming already. Every single thing has doubled because of the size of the boat. I've already spent 300 bucks on lines and hooks and leaders this morning more insurance, the slip, because you pay by the foot, and the fuel prices are up. I need to make money, bottom line. It's a very wet day. This would be a good day to catch a fish and go home early. At least we have a big roof over our head, unlike time flies over there. Oh, so much bait. Ooh, look at that bait. I'm Captain Jack Patrickin with the Time Flies. Nick Scally is my first mate. He's my secret weapon. Great kid, great fisherman, and, you know, a good friend of mine. We're the youngest guy, smallest boat, and it's not going to stop us from going out there and giving 110%. Well, hopefully we can make it happen here. No doubt. It's going to happen. We'll make it happen. Hey, you got me? Oh, uh, we just got word. First fish of the year, Tyler. Followed by Spurge with the second. Oh, wow. Wow, seems like it's a little better up that way, up north then. Yeah, it's eh, still early. We'll get them here. They made the right choice, you know, that's all. The day is young here. All right, I'll let you know when we scratch a couple of real ones, but uh, we haven't marked one yet. When we find out that a boat has caught a bluefin and where and what bait, that helps us make an informed decision on where to fish. Well, we got to catch one today, too, then, I guess. But you have to weigh a lot of factors. Cost of fuel, how long it's going to take together, and what bait worked in that area. I'm not going to move just because two boats caught in a completely different location. I'm confident that the fish are going to bite right here like they have so many times in the past. I mean, it's early in the season. It's early in the day. You know, hopefully, uh, you know, we see some big fish here. There's a whole herd of them right here. Yep. Look Whoa. at those. 
We'll probably get a bite here on these. Come on, give us a shot. Oh, come on. Eat. Exciting to get the rod to bend. Hey, we're on, back in the game. But when it's windy like this, I want to I kind of want to get away from them. Good. When it's rough and you have the engine, it's really, really difficult to communicate. Coming way up now. Huh? Coming up, dude. All right. Everybody talk loud. Our first fish of the season, and we've got to deal with this. But that's the way it goes. We got this, guys. Get a rest. What the f is this? <laughs> Definitely the squall here. I can't hear anything. I can't really see anything. Getting up. This is going to be a problem. Yeah, it'll work. What, is it going to blow 60 on us now? Literally. We're it. Did this get any worse? I don't know how long this line's going to hold up. All right, Tom, we're pulling around. Oh, that's it. He's gone. Change them off. 40 feet. Oh, Stick with it. We'll get them. Yeah, we'll get them. Standing by here. Kind of got screwed by the wind there. The wind came on hard, and we had that fish coming up good. And it's hard to keep the boat on when it's blowing this hard. So we kind of just got screwed by Mother Nature right there. So what are you going to do? It is what it is. Real. Crazy. Oh well, that's fishing. Very happy. A nice sized fish, and hopefully we get a nice paycheck out of him. Welcome back to Gloucester. It's well, been a while. That's the way to come back, you know? Good, good. Things are a little bit different this year. Prices are strong. We got a nice one, a 100 incher. Excellent. Let's see what we got. Last year was such a tough year to fish. I mean, the prices, they weren't that good at all. But this year, everything seems to be falling into place early, and there's a big demand for these blue fins. All right, Scotty, what's the weight there? 370 pounds dressed. That's all nice. Right. That's good. That's nice fish. Nice yeah. Good for your first fish. Let's go see what we got yeah. here. All right. Let's see what we got here, guys. Yeah, nice color, huh? The color is good. I would like to see a bit more fat, but this is the inside core of the fish. This is the decision maker. Pressure's if this on. comes out nice and red and clear, A-OK. -okay. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah, all right, that's a beauty. Yeah. That's, that's nice. Could use a little bit more fat. Yeah. Come, come on. What do you think this fish is worth? $12 a pound. We're in a good spot. And we, we hope we're going to capitalize on all of the, you know, the whole season and get decent fish and nice prices. I think we're going to get one every day, hopefully. Finally happened. Finally caught my first bluefin. It's a really great feeling. Now we got to get out there and do it again. I'm happy. Yeah. Well, Just good to get one. As the first day of bluefin season continues, Father Tuna on Moonshine and Brother Sister Team on Pinwheel prove the market is bouncing back with their high dollar paydays. With the rest of the fleet fishing hard, the competition is off to a strong start. Going in stealth mode. It's like a beacon. These guys can see us from miles away. They can recognize this boat. 
We make it too easy for them with those flags. As much as I like, love flying them, we got to drop them. I learned a good lesson last season. Don't get pulled into working too closely with the rest of the fleet. Uncle Bear says this is the way we'll stay sneaky by those other guys. Down, down. Yeah, there you go, Jay. The simple fact is I catch more bluefin when following my own lead rather than getting thrown off by following someone else's. Just kind of wrap it up around is all we're trying to do. So I don't know where the rest of the fleet is fishing, and I don't want them to know where I'm fishing. Hopefully, we can keep this place to ourselves just a little bit longer. So are you going to cook, Jay? Yep. We don't have tons of anemones on the boat. Our fridge is our ice box, also our fish box, also our AC. And? And also our table. All right. <laughs> this is called the bacon blanket. Ham and eggs. It's called catch tuna and cook it. This is what you got in the box. Spatula and tongs. Watch me do my dirty. Can I get another herring out? Put that one down deep. All right. <laughs> Should be fine. You go back inside. Let hey, that's a mark. fish. We marked one, guys. Go uh, down, go down, go down. We marked that first fish. That's what we're waiting for. Going? 24, Joe. Yeah, 24. 21. All right. 22. <laughs> Any minute now, this place is going to bust wide open. 24. Why didn't he bite? He's flying around, though. He's going to take something. He's going to take something. Looks like a good size one, too. Perfect. We'll take them. Oh, we're on. Yep. We're on. Yep. We're on. Yep. Here we go. Yep. All right. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Yep. Make it up with Dave Got them on. We're coming for you, boy. Bottom if you need me to drive a little. We're good. Here we got plenty of line, dude. All right. We're yeah. coming for you, boy. Down and tight. How you doing, Joe? Coming out. Coming out. Yeah. You smell your breakfast, though, Jay, huh? I smelled the bacon. The bacon. The bacon in. in. We're five way there. Let's just hope we can close the deal, gentlemen. OK, boys, show me how it's done. I'll be right here. I'll be your emotional support coach. If our luck can just hold, we'll start off this season with a bag. Way up, Prima. Uh, bag him and tag him. See him rip, ripping it this way? Yeah, that's right. So I just leave. He's tiring out now. He's pulling the boat. He's pulling line. Just got to take our time in this fish. It's still really green. Way up on top. There he goes again. He's got a lot of life left. We're off on our own. And I wanted to go fishing just to see if we could find some fish on our own. And it sure looks like we accomplished that. Let's just hope we can close the deal early in the season with a nice fish. That'd be just a great way to start. You're getting pretty close, Bob. Give it one bump ahead, Jay. Just a bump, straight ahead. Yep, coming around. Yeah. Come on, guys. Just get me close enough to put this harpoon in his head. Easy, okay, easy, good, easy, good, easy, good. easy, easy. Good. Couple more circles now, Joe. Nice and easy. Yep, nice I'm and waiting, easy. I'm waiting. Here he comes. Here he comes. Good shot. My left side. Here we go, side. boys. Left side. Good job, Jay. Yeah. Yeah. That's good job. All right, guys. Yeah. Five, yeah. Five, yeah. Five, yeah. Five, yeah. Five, yeah. Yeah. Good job. Let's go. Hoist the colors, Jay. We're going to sink the rest of the fleet. We're going to bury them in tuna. It's time to hoist back up the flags. <laughs> How's that, Uncle Dave? Atta boy, Jay. Long skin, Jay. All right, guys, what do you think? We ready to bring this fish aboard? All right. Up, up, and away. Hey, here we go. The minimum size requirement for these fish is 73 inches. The reason for that is simple. They've had two or three spawning cycles. That means you're leaving two or three fish for the one that you're taking. What do we got? Ooh. 87 incher. Perfect. Awesome. Good job, dude. Those guys have no idea where we're fishing. We're just going to keep it that way. Yep. Keep grinding. Keep catching fish. 
Every time we wind up working with those guys, we wind up getting burned. So this year, we're just gonna keep our nose to the grindstone and do our own thing. Over the rail, in the pail, back to the dock to make the sale. Almost time for a cheesy bread sandwich. <laughs> mm. Hey, Doc Com, you'd add the cup. I'm having some trouble with my boat. You gonna be able to get it home or no? Nah, I have zero steering. So you need a tow. Either that or a line, an hydraulic line. No, we don't have that. Nope, we don't have that. We're gonna have to tow him in. Yeah. All right, well, we'll do what we gotta do. Let me uh, let me just get squared away here. That's good, buddy. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I got one of our friends lost the steering. He blew a hydraulic line, so pretty much dead in the water. We gotta tell him I'm not gonna leave him out here. We're really disappointed. We wanted to continue fishing, but we're doing the right thing. There's only one thing to do. I mean, we're not just gonna leave the guy here with no steering. What's going on, guys? Scotty, how you doing? First day of the season, huh? That's right. I think you're going to like what you see. Awesome. I have a good feeling it's going to be the year for you guys. All right, Scotty, let's get him up there and see what we got to work with. All right, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Pinwheel got the very first fish of the season, but at least we're starting off with a bang, and we got to fish ourselves on the very first day. Now, hopefully, we can just keep this momentum up. Scotty, what do we got for dress weight, buddy? 256 pounds dressed. OK, that's a great way to start the season. Why don't you guys come up and check this thing out? Oh, Step man. right up. Pretty oh. good, man. Wicked greasy fish. Great color. Hopefully, you guys took care of it. And I'll know if you didn't swim this fish once I look at this core. We're not Birds. scared. All right, <laughs> let's do it. We ain't scared. Wow, It's nice. That. Nothing wrong with that at all. You guys definitely got a nice fish here. Oh, yeah. You guys are looking at 17 bucks a pound. Nice. 17 Boom. In. Hell yeah. That's slim dunk, boys. Awesome. First well fish done. of the season. Well done. It's such a relief that this year, compared to last year, there's a huge demand for bluefin tuna. That's going to mean good prices all year, and good prices are going to mean a good season for the hard merchandise. Now we're going to go out and see if we can find a jumbo. There are big fish here. We just got to capture one. Just trying to stay in the game, keep our lines clean, and uh, get a fish. Being out there with just one guy, it does make me a little nervous. My old first mate, Ricky, this season has chosen a steady job. Tuna fishing is very up and down. It's not a secure job. It's feast of famine is what it is. We're all just trying to get a bite, get a good one today. We'll try to put these rods in here in these, you know? Mm-hmm. Here comes Doc Com. He had to cut his first day short because he had to tow someone in. They're just going to go right by. They're towing him because his, um, his steering uh, blew a line, and he doesn't have an extra one. As quick as the day was getting going, it's now falling apart. Our friend's boat broke down. I wasn't going to leave him out there, fish or no fish. You know, I know my crew was disappointed. They wanted to fish. I wanted to fish. We wanted to make money, but we had to do the right thing. We had to get our friend back home to the dock safely. Just a really good first day of a season to really just remind you of what the hell goes on out here. We got a line out? Yeah, we got a mackerel out there. Good. Oh, we marked one. How deep? 50 feet going down. Come on, tuna. At least give us a shot. All right. Hooked up. Let's get him. We got action. Yeah, baby. Action. Down and tight, baby. Woo! This is the fight we needed. Down and 
tight, baby. Woo! We're on. We don't know the size yet. But I've had big fish really fool me before. We yeah. got color. Yeah. Nope. Hello, guy. Nope. The United States has the strictest rules on fishing. They call anything 73 and bigger a giant bluefin. There you go. We can't keep anything under 73 because they'll go spawn, they'll repopulate thousands and thousands of fish, and that's where our future is in the small fish. That's what we have to protect. We're swimming them to get air in his gills. Bring them back to life. Bring them back to life, like strong, you know? So you see them kicking? You want to let them go? Whenever you're ready, yeah. pal. All right, see you, little guy. That right there was very successful because the future of our fishery right. is in those small fish. That, like in five years, that thing's going to have so many babies, and there's going to be a stock for those fish. That's our future right there. Do I look like a wet rat right now? I'm happy, though. I mean, the day's not over. We just went through one tide change. Last year's champion, Wicked Pissa, has yet to make a paycheck as day one of Atlantic bluefin season continues. With only three boats in the money, the pressure is on for FatTuna.com, Hot Tuna, and Time Flies to catch their first bluefin. There's no life out here. There are no birds, no whales. No, there, Bob. Yo. Definitely seen more bait for sure, big water. Have you marked any? No. Just love to find these whales, man. I think we're gonna get them down here. I like that attitude. Yep. No, I, I definitely can feel it, you know? But uh, <laughs> I wanna see it. I can see nothing. We've been running around here and chatting for hours in the fog, just pretty much blind, just not being able to kind of visually see the life. We're scanning the horizon for any signs of life, like birds and whales. Because if we can find that, the blue fins are very likely nearby. Hopefully we can start to see some activity rather than just rely on our sounder. Step one is find the life. We got to find that life. I definitely heard one whale. So, you know, definitely more confident now than I was 30 minutes ago. Come on, big boy, where are you? Oh, look at that. He's feeding, see the birds oh, on? You see them bubbling right here. Oh my God. This is exactly what we wanted to see. All these shearwaters are working this area right here. That means there's sand eels, there's max, there's tuna. There he is, good sign. Get back. This is awesome, man, we're in the right spot now. This is what we've been looking for, the life. You know, hopefully there's a whole bunch of big tunas just feeding right underneath this. We're gonna drop a bomb down to them and see if we can make something happen. The Mac is still going strong up there. Go big or go home. Wow! The tuna are absolutely with these. We're gonna see them here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> there they go. Tuna's feed with the whales. It's like, you know, they stir everything up and then tuna pick up whatever, you know, that falls out of their mouths or whatever, so, so that's a great sign for us right now. Oh, we're right in the feed now, come on. There we go, hook that it is. up. That yep. is. That's what I'm talking about. Found him! Hooked up, hope it's the right one. But it, it's just acting funny, so we're not really sure, so we're gonna play this one out. Hey, guys. We got them on, we think it's the right one. Didn't see it, went tight. All right, go get them. That sucks. Come on, we need a bite, man. Whoa, whoa. Hooked up, not a fun start. Come on, let's reel these in. I'm coming, I'm just clearing. You know, Michael hasn't fished for us in a couple years. He's had some knee issues that he's somewhat got resolved, but he's still a little shaky. Having Michael back on the first trip, but not Jarrett, 
could definitely hurt me. I haven't got one in almost two years dealing with my knee surgery, so I'm trying to take it easy just so I don't hurt myself again. We're ready to get this fish. You know, we need it bad. So hopefully it works out. We get a dart in him, get him tied off to that cleat. Just got to get ready for a battle. He's still running here, so this ain't no shock. If it is, it's a big one. You got him, Bob. Work him in, buddy. Let's go. He is not liking where this hook is placed. He is trying to shake this as much as he can. Come on, stop that ah. You know, when he's shaking his head like that, he's shaking back and forth. That hook could pop out at any second. That line could be shaking ah. across his teeth right now. So just seeing that rod tip, we're all on, on our nerves right now, just going nuts trying to get this fish in. Oh my god. That line could be shaping across his teeth right now. So just seeing that rod tip, we're all on, on our nerves right now. Just going nuts trying to get this fish in. Oh! Oh my god. Came off his peck. Still got him. We're still in the game here. Line going out, baby. Woo! It's a tuna, I think, man. He's out way out on top. Take, took a lot of line out, went down into the DAC run. But it's just acting weird. It's just like dead dog in weight. But I got to pay attention now, man. It's getting close. You ready? You want me to get on there? <clears throat> got him on. This is a big one. We need this fish. We need to get on that leaderboard. Wheel, wheel, wheel! Oh. Gone? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can't catch a break, huh? Well, Doug. Yep. That fish was just straight up and down, starting to do a little death spiral. Hook pulled. <sighs> just fishing, man, just sucks. Oh, damn it. There's nothing you can do about that. Nope. Man, he was it going to be so hard. Because if it was easy, everybody would be out here. Yeah, baby. Come on, big paycheck here. We hooked the sea monster, boys. He is not of the small variety. No. I'm thinking it's a good fish. As long as that hook stays intact, we should be in good shape. First fish on here, and he's not small can tell he has no plans of coming in soon. Let's go get him. You got him. Come on, come on. Wow, that's a tuna for sure. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's a money shot! Get over here, big guy. Get over here, big guy. Zero. Coming. Coming. Yeah! Oh! Biggest sigh of relief ever. That hook is somewhere down in his belly. He was sawing it off the whole entire fight, doing that crazy digging the whole time. <sighs> wow. Wow, that one feels good. We got him. He's a good one. All right, good going. Awesome. Safe travels, bro. See what we got. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that one for a first fish, baby. Yeah. Nice First one, boys. Woo! All right. What do you got, big guy? We got a hundred in. It's a hundred in. Number one. Thank you. Let's go. Boys. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Woo! This is the first fish of the season for us right now. Feeling absolutely blessed. I mean, can't 
thank them enough, whoever gave us this fish, the tuna gods, man. Check out where this guy was hooked. All the way down. Can't huh. even see the hook. Buried. Absolutely feeling blessed today. My god. I'm tired. That fish kind of kicked my butt. We took the risk coming down to Chatham, and that risk paid off. And that's awesome. What a feeling. Over 100 inches for the first one. Woo! Just checking the lines. We got a little bit of slime, so got to just keep checking them, keeping them clean. See the slime on the line there? You know, the line is pretty much see-through, um, you know, invisible when it's in the water, but when you get this stuff on it, fish can see it. So you just got to kind of, it's like maintenance. <laughs> the stuff just gets on the line and kind of goes everywhere. This new boat, it's a custom-built boat. So many bugs to work out. Bolts need to be tightened. We got to learn about the live wells and how it runs. And there's a lot of electrical problems. So the bills are going to be pretty high this year. To make money, you need to catch a fish every time you leave the dock. Yeah, we got a mackerel and we got a herring out. This is a nice, fresh herring, nice, lively herring. I'm going to drop him down and see if we can get him to produce for us. Really, we're only fishing in 100 feet of water, so we got it right in the middle. 50, 60 feet. The fish can pretty much see off the bottom here. The water's pretty clear. Put it at the right depth, hopefully in the right spot. What's going on? Yeah, uh, the voltage on the generator is low. So. It's not running right now, though, is it? That yeah, is... I just turned it on. See, that's low. The generator voltage, so I remember Guy said this one. There's a lot of attention drawn away from fishing because it's a new boat, and it does make me a little nervous having just one guy. Not that we can't handle it, it's just overwhelming. Why ain't this panel working? Yeah, just hit it. Zero volts. Now, what does that mean? So we have to change this to next something. Oh, right. Right. That's a tuna, right? Yeah. Here we go, baby. Yeah! Let's go. That's a tuna. Finally got a tuna on Dougie and I. Hallelujah. Big fish. This is a tuna. Oh, right. Here we go, baby. That's a tuna, right? Yeah. Let's go. That's a tuna. Finally got a tuna on, Dougie and I. Hallelujah. I'm getting my sweater on. <laughs> Woo! There's a burner. He's just straight up and down. Yeah. <laughs> I got you, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Big fish. That was fun. This is watch. a tuna. Rip in line for a minute at a time. He's up this on. This is a real one. He's up on top now. This is a big fish. Yeah, this Absolutely. is a real one. That's what the big ones this are a, doing. This is a hundred inch fish. He is not happy. He just came right from the bottom, straight up to the top. This season is critical for the wicked pestle. Our biggest thing is to just relax, stay focused. You know. I got a new boat, and I can't wait to land its first giant bluefin tuna on the deck. After all, I have to catch tuna to pay for it. He's got to come right at the boat here, I think. This is how we like them, like, to relax. Yeah. You know, not up on top, like, shaking. Oh, well, there he big is. One. Big fish. We got one on, buddy. Swivel. Yeah. Boy, he's still full of piss and vinegar, yeah. isn't he? 40 feet fizz. Ah, oh, he just broke off. Right here yeah. he was. All right, we'll go back on the drift. He just shaped them off. Yeah, he, he was gut hooked. That's why he, he was shaped. He was gut hooked. He was shaped off. All right, let's go back on the drift. We're still working it. That was a good bite. Ah! It kind of sucks we lost out on a nice payday. So good. 
That's the game we're in, you know? But at least I got the new boat on the meet. We just gotta keep it up, and we'll get our first bluefin on the boat. And there's no doubt that we'll make a lot of money this year. That was a 100-inch tuna, 500, 600-pounder. I'm gonna go right back, Doug. It's right here, not far. I'm in a bigger boat, dude. If we were in my other boat, we'd be exhausted right now. Boy, would we be the... Oh, ho, ho, ho. That tuna's in the game. What's up, PJ? Hey, boys, you're on the board. Darn it off. Yes. With a big boy. Yeah. Want to yes. check him out? Let's lift it up, Bob. Right. See what we got Let's here. Let's do it. To come out like this in day one and on fire, it's just great. All right, PJ, what do we got for a dress weight? 376 pounds. Yeah, I'll talk about oh, man. Nice, nice, yeah. one, nice work, boys. Nice work. Let's check it out, see what we got here. All right, way to go, guys. What we got, PJ? Nice. Well, it's got beautiful color, very cherry red color. It's got some fat, it just doesn't have a ton. It's a good early season fish. All right. Great. This one here. How about $16 a pound? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Way to go, boy. Thank you. That's a way to stop the season. a little on this yeah. one, too. See you guys right, tomorrow. Man. See you tomorrow, PJ. Yeah. Thanks so much. Take care, boys. First trip out for Fat Tuna, and we ended up with a huge payday. Off to a great start. Can't ask for much more than that. Not bad for a first fish, huh? <laughs> for us. Fish are wet, so are we. You gotta be prepared for anything. Some gnarly Yeah, I get my kicked in. Yeah, but I'd say now it's raining. Wind's too much. Not a lot of guys wanted to come out here and sit through the rain and the wind today. So that leaves us. I think the sun is gonna come out. This way. We're definitely looking for a different outcome than we had last year. So, you know, we're hoping to get off to a good start here. Came here in Middle Bank, fishing in an area where there's been a lot of bites, a lot of fish coming through. And, you know, not only do we want to start off with a fish, but we want it to be a good high paying fish. Half the boats of the fleet caught yesterday. We got to get one today so we don't fall further behind. You can't catch them unless that line's in the water. But right now, we got, you know, three good chances of catching them right here. All types of bait on the surface again, Jack. Yeah, right behind us. Oh, God, it looks so fishy. Oh, those are fish. Yes, they those are. Those are fish. Holy those are That fish. was a keeper, too, all day. Holy that's fishy. Oh, big fish. Come on. Eat that boy. Eat it, boy. That was a good mark there. Things are cruising around. Hopefully any minute now. Been very patient today. Hello, Mr. Whale. Oh, we're on. Yes, sir. We're on. Nick, 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 get back here. Oh, he's right at. Yep, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Feels good to be tight right now. We got to move him to the bow, Nick. Got a little weight to him. We like to fight from the bow pretty much all conditions. Doesn't matter if it's rough or if it's calm. And that's because, you know, we're an outboard. And uh, an outboard boat has, you know, two nice shiny props in the back that would love to cut your fish off. So, uh, you know, we want to fish from the bow because it keeps the line away from the props as much as we possibly can. Good work, buddy. Big fish. We got a bigger fish on the line here. Definitely heavier. Kind of see what we got. Big wave here, Nick. Couple waves, Nick. Wave. Little rough. Nick's doing a good job. This fish is big. Marking him at 100 feet. Can't move him. Rod's cocked. Remember, on those waves, you got to give it to him a little bit. 
A lot of pressure on that line. This rough weather is really making it tough. You know, when that bow is going up and down and up and down, it's pulling that hook up and down. Don't put too much hand pressure on him. Take off a little drag, Nick. We just pray that he stays on the line. And, uh, you know, of course, getting that dart shot is always a little tougher as well, because it's like hitting a target that's, uh, you know, that's moving. Ready? Yeah. Neutral. Hold on, neutral, neutral. Neutral. Yeah, we got a real one on right now. Been waiting for this bite. Been working through microbursts, all types of crazy rain, snappy seas. Just praying this one stays on. Shake, you get the two shakes right now. Get some seas. Hold on. Deep color. Level here. See if I can turn them. Ah! No mercy! No mercy! Neutral! Neutral! Just praying this one stays on. Shake, get the tuna shakes right now. Get some seas! Hold on! Deep collar. Swivel here. See if I can turn them. Ah! Little verse! Little verse, Nick! Keep going! Keep going! Neutral! Neutral! All right, come up here, Nick. Here you go on the rod. Deep color. Yep. This is his thing. He's going to go under the boat out in that way. I'm in reverse now. Yep. Yep, get him up, Nick. Yep. Do I get a shot? You will in a second. Get him He's going to come at us hard. Get him up. Turn around. Yep. Good job. Next turn, yep. he's yep. all yep. yours. Head up. Get him to me. Get him to me. Get him to me. He's green. Put the drag down a little. Just a couple hairs. All right. Hold on. Just gap anywhere. Gap anywhere. Yeah, OK. Stay. Hold on, Nick. First one! Woo! Let's go! That's nice. That's a good one, too. And you know what the best part is? We get to come out tomorrow because it's wide open 2021. Watch out, baby. Let's go! Woo! Start off the season on the right path, and hopefully we'll just keep pushing forward from here. Better things to come the rest of the way. Woo, we got him. What a tough fish that was. That's awesome, dude. I don't know how you fight him off the bow with that. That's tough. Yeah, thanks, Dougie. You guys will be shortly after, I'm sure. If we hook up, it's gonna be a big one. Oh, I know. <laughs> I won't wake you up unless we It needs to run like a Hold on. One, two, three. Yeah, there he comes. Watch your leg. Wow, he's a fat one. We bit bigger than I anticipated. Zars, finally. All right, you want to measure this thing, Nick? Yes, sir. You get the good end. 90 inches. Take him all day. Woo! What a tough fish, man. Beautiful fish. Tough, tough fish for 90 inches. Sometimes the little ones fight harder. <laughs> Definitely ready to come out on top this season. I mean, last year, you know, it wasn't the greatest year for the prices of the fish. So, you know, we, we got to kind of start filling in that hole. Not too many other, you know, kids our age that are coming out and doing this, you know nowadays so you know we take pride in that and uh you know we want to just hang with the best of them and prove that we can you know really make a make a run at this thing here to stay yeah baby just as we planned just a little later hey jackson Hey Scott, first how you doing? First fish, huh? Yeah, first one, we're psyched. All right, nice. What are we What are we looking at, how big? Yeah, we're looking at a beautiful 90 inch here. Markets yeah. are really good compared to the disaster last year. There's such a demand within the US, we're not really shipping to Japan unless we have a real bell ringer. Things are very strong, stronger than I've seen them in a while. All right, let's go. All right. Sounds good. Okay, hold it. All right, Scott, what's the magic number? 262 pounds dressed. 
262. Yeah, that all day. yeah, it's a great sellable fish. Nice job, guys. Thank you, Scott. All right, we'll take a look at the core here. Let's go take a look on the inside. Ooh. All right, what do we got here? Should be chilled on enough. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. <laughs> that's that's really good tail color. That's beautiful. That's very good tail color, actually, and good core color, core color especially. It's, it's definitely an early fish, which uh, it could use more fat. The color is excellent. Shape was good on the fish. There's no damage really to speak of, very little. All right, well, what do you think you can do for us? $13 a pound all day long. Thank Congratulations, you. guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, all right. Thank you, Thank you for this go. model here. Nice. Hopefully, we'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. I hope so. I'm going to be sleeping here, waiting for you guys when the sun comes up. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be ready. All right. We'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. A good start. Thank you, guys. Thank Have a you. good one. All right. You know, last season was, was a tough one. You know, Nick and I, we, we worked our butts off, and it just, you know, we, nothing really showed for it. And this year, we got a chip on our shoulder. We're coming out swinging, and there's no reason why we can't be the top boat. Time flies, strikes again. The recovery from last season begins with brother-sister team on pinwheel and family operation hard merchandise, both netting $17 a pound for their first fish. Fat Tuna brings their Cape Cod bounty into second position, while the legend Moonshine and Underdog's Time Flies make the most out of opening the bluefin season with their first fish. 